Hello everybody, I've got a haul for you and uh, I'm just getting some of these out because uh, it's gel polish and this is my first ever um, haul from Madame Glam and uh, I used uh, one of the discount codes because they've got 50% uh, off so it was early Black Friday deal so that's what I did um, just popping my gloves so, on seeing as I've never had it before I thought I'd better do it properly and have um, what they call it top coat and base coat as well so I'm going to uh, use the whole shebang for the uh, testers and I'll show you what I've got I couldn't afford an awful lot uh, to be honest, but I've always wanted to try Madame Glam. <gasps> oh, let's just do that again. <sighs> Calm. Oh. Oh. oh, I think I picked some beauties. Uh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Padded box. It's great packaging, isn't it? Um, oh, get off. Oh, God, that goes strong. And two more there, look. So, yeah. Oh, I love that. I think that's brilliant. The sturdy boxes anyway, and then they've got foam. So the chances of them being damaged is slim. But, yeah. Okay, so I've got everything out. And um, I'll show you in turn what I bought. I had to disappear because I've got a nose that, could do we a bung up it at a minute. <laughs> Sorry for the info, but oh, I sneezed then. I'm going to try not to sneeze, but I might have to try and edit it out. Uh, right, what did I get? I got um, a non-acid nail primer. And one of the things I was looking for is a lot of the primers has got HEMA in. Uh, and I want to avoid that, so... As you can see on here, we've got Hema Free, Nine Free Formula, Cruelty Free and Vegan. So that's brilliant. Uh, I bought the Soak Off Base Coat. Uh, like I said, I thought we ought to do it all together. This says 21 Free. Um, not sure what the green... Palm Oil Free. Um... Yeah, so I've got the base coat. I got the velvet matte top coat. And I got the no wipe top coat. I hope it's nice and shiny and stays shiny. Uh, these are all 30 seconds. And I bought this, which uh, I'm going to have to look up some videos on it because I'm not quite sure. There's been a lot of talk about different makes that you get where they're not reputable companies that the gel polish remover is a bit dodgy. But Madame Glam, from what I can tell, seems to be really trusted. And with all this, these safeguards that they've got, um, I thought I might try it. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch it on a false nail at some point and see what it's like, how it smells, that kind of thing. Um, then I got two Builder Gels, um, which is uh, Soak Off, and it cures in 30 seconds in LED, which is amazing because I've got some uh, Builder Gels and that that take a couple of minutes, but 30 seconds for each coat on that. That's great. And I got this, which is like a bit of a transparent -y nude. I'll show you. Oh. Like a transparent -y nude. Lovely, gloopy texture. Uh, and then I got the white. So we'll see how strong a white it is. Oh, it looks pretty nice that 
I want to pretty nice. Now, in me gap going off to get tissue and that, I decided I was going to put Eve up. We've got her here uh, waiting because uh, I think I'll, rather than just do swatches, I may as well do a set. Now, this is one that I've seen loads of people using. This is called Smelly Cat. <laughs> so this is from that Friends collection. And uh, it's like a gorgeous cream. And I mean, it, it just looks like fresh cream colour to me. Really nice. So I've seen a lot of those. And then these two are bought to go with it. Well, all of them would go with it, really. Um, I'm not sure if they're from the Friends Connection, but they're a, they're a nude, nude grey colour. Uh, I got a fancy bikini and pivot, and I thought they looked really nice. Yeah, it's like a minky colour. That's fancy bikini. Uh, I want to use all these three today, or shall I? I don't know. Let's wait and see. Oh, yes, I could do. It's like a coffee colour. Hmm. I might have a look at what I'm putting on it and then I'll decide. And then these two, I think I've a bit of a boo-boo here because I bought uh, Painting Dreams and Jasmine Tea. And I thought Jasmine Tea would be a bit darker. Um, but it looks as if they're the same base colour, to be honest. Except this one, I don't know if you can see it. This one's got a bit of a glisten. Tiny, tiny specks of glisten in it. But I don't think it's different enough. I wanted to use them together. Um, and it's like a grey. Like an almost greeny grey. And then this. So I might have to put a couple of sample... Um, Uh, nails on to try these. See how different they look. Oh, I don't know if you can see. Woo, stay in frame. You can see the glisten. There's not that much. So I'll check it up a bit. And then we'll see. So I'll move these to one side. Uh, I'll get a couple of nail tips and pop them in here. I don't want it too long, I don't want to waste, don't want to waste all me here, if I don't do I? Right, I'll start first with uh, this Painting Dreams. I've got a birthday coming up and I've got uh, Christmas coming up and my daughter said to me yesterday, uh, do me a favour mum, can you not buy any uh, more nail products? And I told her I'd bought some of these. I said, yes. All right. So that's exciting. Because um, nobody was quite sure what to get me last year. But this year, um, I think she's got an idea of what I'm after. So it's quite exciting. That's a lovely colour. I like the texture. And that's a beautiful colour. Very nice. And that's just one coat, but I'll give it two. Uh, and now this, if I can manage to do it without smudging that one. Uh, this is the Jasmine Tea. Like I said, I've shook it up a little bit, or rolled it and stuff to see if I can get that glitter to really come out. It might be slightly paler. I'm 
hoping it's just not as close as it looks in the bottle. Excuse her finger looking a bit funny the outside of this nail. I'm not, not after painting her nail bed. Watch this. It's a bit thinner than uh, some I've used, which which I actually like. I actually like that. But that one would need two coats. Yeah, it is slightly, slightly lighter. So that's a plus. Right, back in 36. Okay, so we'll give them all two. Just to be fair to it. Yeah, I love it. Absolutely. Right, I absolutely love that. So, top coat. Um... I'm going to velvet mat. To give this a try, that's nice. Yeah, I've got one velvet mat that smells quite a bit, to be honest. I mean, not like monomer or anything. This has got hardly any, unless, like I said, my nose. Very nice. Okay, back in a few secs. Right, so that's the matte colour. To be honest, I think it shows that the colours on their website are pretty accurate, really. Um, because uh, they are different. That's as close as I can zoom in without getting my head under camera. Yeah, so I'm just going to use this now, which is the No Wipe top coat um, now I know my daughter likes this effect where you have it uh, glossy on the ends so it's a bit far away from me and then not open enough for me but that's not bad so we'll go from there so it'll not be the most perfectly straight line Well, that's the glossy. I go from up near the nail down to this bottom corner and then the same again. You can see where it looks like. I can hardly see where I've painted it to be honest, but there we go. Back again. I'm going to put some more nails on now. It is super glossy. And not tack it at all. So, come off. Come off. Oop. That's it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, nail tips. So I've put a bit on the others, just the first bit, and uh, just show you I'm doing it on this one, and then on the French. I'm pushing it up a bit. You can always get a little liner brush if you want, and just put it down the middle, and then use your liner brush, like a short art brush or a. A flatter gel brush just to tease it into the edges. Little circular. Up again. 
over. I freeze that a bit and then I'm going to come back with some more because I've not built that apex yet. You can give this a full, uh, put it in your lamp in between if you want. That's enough of that. So I'll finish this one off, I'll finish the others off off screen. So quite a nice dollop on this one. and then push it back up put the finger down a bit and I want quite a bit up there and then just work this down Uh, so done that one I'm just going to do this I've moved the camera a little bit to see if you can see me a bit better if that's rubbish then I'll just cut it out completely but um, what I'm going to do is Try and do a French on this. The thing I like about Builder Gel in a pot is that you can scoop it up, can't you? You can see exactly what you've got on the end of the brush. Whereas this is kind of all in the brush. So I'm, I'm waiting for it to come out of the brush. No, I'm not getting on very well with this at all. Right, let's try this. What I'm going to do is use my little brush. I've got a, a gel brush that I got with Urban um, Graffiti. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on there and get rid of this brush. And I'm going to use this to put it where I want it. Can you see a bit better? And then I'm going to tease it down to the smile line I want, which is about... There we go. There we go. That'll do me. Right, so before I file that one, I'm going to wipe off all that sticky layer because it is very, very sticky. Build a white. Cost a pair than that, can you? That's what it is. This will be fun. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter if it comes up over the pink, does it? So, 
push that up there. Ring. Right. Oh, it's a lovely white. Really nice white. Turn over a sec, so that's going to be easier now. Oh, sorry. Do you know, that might not be too bad after all. I'll do it up and down a bit. Lovely, let's give it a buff. For me, it's a bit lopsided slightly. Yeah, I could live with them. I could live with that on my finger. Right, I'll file these off camera and I'll, I'll come back. Doing them in this order. <coughs> Smelly cat, fancy bikini and pivot. Right, for the purposes of this finished set, uh, I've shown you how the builder in the bottle works and, and that I like that, but it don't work within this set because the pink's the wrong colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give this one um, this one. So I'm going to paint this with Smelly Cat and Pivot.
Right, I got this uh, like crackly foil from uh, that lot from Maggie. And I thought this might look quite nice on it. Yeah, let me put that on. So I've got some. I've only got uh, Gel Perfection Zone foil it. So I'll have to use that. So I've decided this is going all over this nail, so I probably could have put this straight on instead of doing the mat, but this is what we've got. And then this. I only want it on the white uh, or the smelly cat. Thank brush right, so I've got this on there we go I was just a bit on there. I don't know why it's stuck on that bit. And then this rod will have all over. So I'm going to lift that edge slightly so I can then lay down this edge. I think we've done. Yeah, it's lifted off. That's nice, so we've got crackles. I'm going to put a few... Um, these came from Aggie and Joe. And I'm just going to put a couple on there. So we'll do them with the top coat.
just do a few nails instead of just doing swatches so um this is smelly cat and then we've got the crackle foil over the top uh this one is fancy bikini it's a beautiful heathery beigey color and then the one at the end there is pivot pivot that one anyway that one um yes i like them they're very very creamy um maybe you have to get used to things but um i'm used to nail which is a little bit thinner it depends what you like but yes i'll definitely be ordering some more um after christmas because i don't buy anything at the minute according to me my daughter don't buy any more nail stuff she said mother that ring pretty um yeah i've just used the gemstones that i got from uh aggie and jojo um and the foil that i got from aggie so Thank you very much, both of you. That was lovely. And, yeah, hope you liked it. Thank you very much. Love you loads. Take care. Bye.